Hernan Castro, a presidential residential when I'm back home. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. So here we go with round one, Grappler versus Grappler. This was probably the wrong week for me to skip combat Sambo class, but what are your expectations for this one? I expect these guys to come together, man. I expect them to come together, and we're going to see some fantastic throws, and not only just fantastic throws, but just jockeying for position. Even though it may not look like these guys are doing much, the, the, the little details in the underhook, in the clinches, in the foot position, head position, is gonna be very interesting to watch. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Lands a big right hand early. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and he saw it right there with that. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Big punch land here to the top. I was going to follow this one. Left hook to the head. Blocks the shot. Flush right hand is true. Double leg takedown is true. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, close guard now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing good. Oh, yeah. No pity pack to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Ooh, nice right hand. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes it's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, 
and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Oh! Round two winding down. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. Second round underway. Problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. It's not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice hook lands. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good one. Ortiz gets hit by that leg kick. Big power shot there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh. Whips on the straight right hand. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, really exploiting. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in box class, hands up, chin down. Punch over the top. Let's get in this fight. He just misses there with the left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there.
Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. The venerable Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brock Lesnar! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.